And joining me now is Housing Minister Megan Woods. Kia ora, Minister. A hundred families and two housing trusts. Is that a slow start? Not at all. This is something that I'm really proud that we've been able to stand up in our first term of government. It's something we said we'd do and it's something we are doing. Uh, this is a scale of progressive home ownership that we have not seen in New Zealand before. We've taken the time to work really closely with the sector and I think come up with something that is going to fundamentally change some lives for New, of New Zealanders. So over what period do you expect to get to the 4,000 families uh, that you're saying you hope to house in this scheme? How long is it going to take to ramp up? Well, this has a 15-year recycle rate. Um, we won't take the full 15 years uh, to spend that money. Um, of course, we're talking about this This first um, tranche of 100 will bring on more providers. Uh, but, of course, this money will then continually recycle. I think that's the important thing to understand about this. This isn't a grant. It gets repaid so that over a period of time, more and more families can be added. So this is just the beginning. So the first um, 100... the first lot. So the first 100, Minister, the first 100 families that are going to be assisted, over what period of time will it be before they are in their own home? So the first family will be moving into their, um, into their home in October and November, um, late October, early November. That's just being worked through. Uh, so things are moving really swiftly. Uh, this is a family that um, enrolled with the Housing Foundation at the end of last year after we announced. Uh, that we were going to have this scheme in place. Um, it's a family that actually had um, their... Um, that they, they signed up for the property on the 23rd of March, so they went into lockdown knowing so that they signed up for this property. Is that house, the purchase of that house, made through funds that you have already given to that um, foundation in Auckland? Oh, through this fund, through the, the allocation that we've, we've, that we've given them from the Progressive Home Ownership right. account, the funding that was announced today, the new funding of that $400 million fund. Yep, so that's one family this year. How long before those 100 families? What, what's the goal here? 100 families so over what over period of time? A, a couple of years. A couple of years those families will be moving in. There, there's, um, there's 78 of those are in Auckland. A number of those houses are already under construction. But this isn't just about house construction. It's really important to understand, Lisa, that this is also about taking... Uh, progressive home ownership isn't about just purchasing a house and moving into it. It's about um, often uh, work, agencies working with a family, clearing debt, getting them into a position where they are actually able to get the commercial bank loan that is part of how they get into the home. So there is a bit of a journey and a pathway that needs to be gone on with these families. So um, over the next couple of years, we'll see those 100 families move in and then, of course, more and more will be brought on. OK, so um, that's 50 a year then, as you've just stated it there. No. 50 a year and you're aiming to get to 4,000. When do you ramp it up? No. For the first two years, no, that's Lisa, what you're saying? Lisa, no, no, I'm not saying it's 50 a year. What I'm saying, the first two that we announced today have, a, have 100 identified over the next couple of years will bring on other providers um, that, ha that also will be getting people into houses over that time frame. So I wouldn't like you to try and extrapolate that number right. out from that. So, so when do you expect to announce new providers? Oh, look, we'll be doing that really soon. Um, we're working before the election? a number of providers. Uh, I'm not sure there'll be any more before the election, uh, but we're continuing to work through with providers. We, look, the, the whole way in which we've designed this policy has been uh, an element of it, has been co-designed um, with uh, community housing providers who have built up a huge amount of intellectual property in this area over the years um, and have been doing this at a small scale. What we're seeing and what you're hearing really strongly from the sector, and certainly we're hearing, is this gives them a scale and a certainty that they've never had before in their ability to plan. And then, of course, the third element um, of this will come on um, in a couple of years, which is um, where we have direct provision through Kainga Aura for a lighter touch provision around this. OK, so you want these, your preference is for the houses purchased to be new builds. So where okay. are the houses coming from? Because everybody knows the problems you've had with Kiwi Build and construction. Oh, look, we are a government that builds houses. I'm going to point you towards um, our record on building public housing through Kiwi Kiwi Build, how many we Kiwi Builds? Well, let's start with that as a record. How many Kiwi Builds oh, so far? Look Look, Lisa, I think um, anyone can, at any given day, can have a look on a website and see. I'm exactly asking you, Minister, can you just well, finish us with a number? 400. Right. We've built around 400, 
But what I'm saying is you're saying you're, you're, you're challenging our ability to build houses. What I'm pointing you to is the fact that we have built more public houses than any government in a generation. We are a government that builds houses. We're working really closely with the sector. The house that the first family is, built, is moving into is nearly completed in its construction. And, and that is the important point. We are changing lives by getting people into home ownership. You want to get 4,000 families into homes and you want them to be new builds. You've just told me that you've done about 400 Kiwi build homes. There are constraints on labour, land and other issues that constrict supply. So I'm just curious where the 4,000 4, new houses are coming from. So, Lisa, not all the houses will be coming through Kiwi Build, and, and the fact that. Um, uh, no, I'm not suggesting know, that, so Minister. I'm talking about pressure no, on housing. That shows us oh, what pressure there no. is on building. There's building constraints. Oh. Well, no, look, what, what I'd like to point to is actually this couldn't come at a better time for the residential construction industry, that actually what we're hearing is the concerns that the residential construction sector have about their pipeline of work sort of three, four months out from now. So this is a really important part of the puzzle in terms of the package that we put together to support the residential construction sector. They certainly have the wherewithal to build 4,000 houses over the next few years. And certainly that, that pipeline of certainty will be important to that sector as well. So 4,000, build 4,000 over how many years? O over the coming years. Um, so five years, of, oh, 10 years? Around that, Lisa, uh, around that. I around five years. Important, uh, the, the next few years, one of the important things to realise is that this isn't just about building houses. This is about working with people who are otherwise excluded from home ownership. We're talking about preparing families who are on $50,000 a year for the game and life changer of moving into a home they own. That takes time. That's not just about the amount of time it takes to build a house. That's about a whole wraparound program of work that mm. has to sit around that family. So, it's But you not need the houses to be there. You need the houses to be there for them to purchase. Is there a cap oh. on, on the value of the houses that will be involved in this scheme? Oh, look, the, the, the caps will, will um, largely follow the, the other caps that we use across government products. Um, across government, so that varies from place to place. So obviously, there's differences around place, around the first home loan caps, around the key rebuild caps, those kind of things. But so, I mean, we're talking about people getting into first homes. Um, the ability, their ability to borrow, is in itself a bit of a, a cap in terms of even with a, a progressive home ownership element in there. But we're, we're talking about um, modest, affordable first home, first homes to get people into. Appreciate you joining us this evening. That is the Housing Minister, Megan Woods.